I'm the oldest member of the Department of Indigenous Studies. I came here in 1972, which means that I've been here 43 years. So I've seen an amazing amount of changes that have taken place in the department. Um, and so what inspires me, I think, is mostly to see the changes that take place in the students, particularly the indigenous students, from the time they enter the program until the time they leave the program. There's often an amazing uh, personal growth process that goes on that goes beyond simply an academic uh, set of learnings or theory or reading books, but also is very much a personal growth that takes place among the students. And also culture. I think that's very important to be able to uh, teach the students uh, the language, uh, to teach the students the traditional culture. So our program uh, spends a lot of time talking about indigenous knowledge or IK. And so the thing that excites me in a sense is that, that we take a holistic approach to learning in the department and it involves not just the intellect but also the emotions and so it uh, goes beyond the conventional academic disciplines in indigenous studies. I teach courses in, at the undergraduate level in uh, research uh, methodology. It's a full course and it teaches students how to do research, particularly research in indigenous communities. I also teach a field course in Mexico in the summer. That course is a, the students spend three weeks in Mexico in a, a city called Oaxaca in southern Mexico and in Mexico City. It's co-taught by myself and uh, an individual named uh, Gustavo Esteva and uh, he runs an alternative university in uh, Oaxaca called the University de la Tierra and that's an amazing course for uh, students because we, it involves, in terms of my approach to teaching, the course involves uh, experiential learning. We spend a lot of time um, up in uh, indigenous villages in the mountains and uh, taking field trips to various uh, non-governmental organizations, projects that they work with. Two other uh, undergraduate courses that I'm doing are third year level courses uh, on urbanization and Aboriginal people. And what's interesting about them is that they are online courses. The course focuses on a number of different topics related to uh, Indigenous people in the cities and often urban Aboriginal people are neglected in terms of resources that are available to them and in terms of the attention we pay to them. And we tend to think about Indigenous people and connections with the land or First Nations communities but not so much urban Aboriginal people. how Indigenous studies goes beyond the conventional academic side of things and uh, is, uh, works towards bringing about change within the Indigenous communities.